How has archaeology revealed Anglo-Saxon Rendlesham? 1,500 years ago, South East Suffolk was the centre of the East Anglian Kingdom, which covered modern-day Norfolk and Suffolk. Here, archaeologists have discovered the Royal Burial Ground at Sutton Hoo, the International Trading Port and Town at Ipswich, and the long-lost Royal Settlement at Rendlesham. For about 300 years, from the 5th to the 8th century, Rendlesham would have been a huge settlement, covering an area the size of 70 football pitches. It was home to families, farmers and skilled craftspeople. East Anglian kings and warriors would have visited and stayed here, holding great feasts and assemblies to administer law and justice. There would have been bustling markets and fairs, attracting people from all over the world to visit and trade. After several hundred years, Rendlesham stopped being an important place and much of the settlement went out of use. Over time, the soil built up and covered the remains of the buildings and objects left by the people living there. Today, all that we can see are ploughed fields, so how do archaeologists know about Anglo-Saxon Rendlesham? First, they looked at historical documents, maps and aerial photographs to find out as much as possible about Rendlesham. Next, they searched for objects on the surface of the fields. But how do the objects get there? Farming disturbs the soil as the field is ploughed by tractors. The plough hits the buried archaeology and moves objects up to the surface. At Rendlesham, the local community have worked with archaeologists to investigate the past, starting with a metal detector survey in the ploughed fields in the area, recording the exact location of every single object. Over 1,000 Anglo-Saxon objects were found in the topsoil. Field walking over the same fields found pottery on the surface. Geophysical surveys showed the remains of the buildings and settlements hidden under the ground so the archaeologists knew where to excavate. Trenches were dug to reveal the archaeology. The archaeology was carefully excavated with trowels and the different soil colours helped the team see where to dig. They sift the soil to retrieve all the objects. Many animal bones, pottery, glass beads, brooches, metal working waste and weaving items were found. All the artefacts were then carefully cleaned, marked and sorted so they could be identified to piece together Rendlesham's Anglo-Saxon past. 